morning, Shay. It's uh, <laughs> uh, June the 21st, 2023. Um, I found it very interesting uh, the last time I interviewed you, a few, well, a few weeks ago. And I found out something interesting after I turned the camera on about you. And I thought, I'd like to tell my viewers a little more uh, about you as well. And I'd like to um, uh, tell me, uh, for you to tell my viewers, um, what kind of a degree do you have? I have my social service worker degree, diploma. And you said you are having trouble getting a job. Yes. And why do you think you're having trouble getting a job? Um, due to I don't have a driver's license because I have a visual impairment is number one. Number two is the wheelchair. And you think this is, uh, this is your barrier of getting a job, period? Yes. Well, that's kind of ridiculous because from what you told me, you went through, um, what was it, a university or Peterborough? Is it Peter? Fleming College in Peterborough. Ah, you went through a, what college? Fleming. Fleming College. So Stanford okay. Fleming. Ah, and that took you six years, you were telling me? Yeah, it's a two-year course, but I took it in six. And so. you, you have your full degree then in yes. social work? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that is something that I think people should realize. We have a shortage of people right now for all different types of work right across the board. And you shouldn't be discriminated against. I find that's a discrimination just because you can't drive, you're visually impaired, you're in a wheelchair. But you went through six years to try and help yourself. Now, why can you not use that? I mean, I cannot understand why you cannot have a, even a support group with other people who are in similar situations you are in, trying to navigate their, themselves through the uh, system. And you would be a great peer for them as well to see just how far you've gone. You know, you've, you, someone to look up to. Mm -hmm. And I think this should be done. And I think um, whether it's a community center, I think you could have a support a group working out of the, uh, the community center or somewhere, you know, where you could have other people just like yourself, who are, who are really struggling. And uh, as I understand you, and I know you quite well, now that, um, you know, you've been very, very depressed. Mm -hmm. You know, and other people in your situation are terribly depressed. And, yep. you know, and you can't get out. And we, uh, my other interviews have shown why, because of this crazy homeless situation that we have down here. Yeah, like last week or two weeks ago, I went down to the Rito Tim Hortons. In where the construction tunnels are, they uh, I had a homeless guy demand food and call me a retard on six wheels. A retard on six wheels. Oh, my goodness. Well, <laughs> I don't think that so-called, I think he's the one that's retard. <laughs> pardon the expression, but uh, I'd like to see his degree. I know you have a degree, but I'd like to see his degree <laughs> at the same time. You know, and I think this is um, terrible that we're being discriminated against or you're being discriminated against because I've seen so many people in many different situations that have made it through ha the various handicaps. Yeah. And then we've, we've had members of parliament, for goodness sakes, in our legislative buildings. I mean, they've adapted the automatic doors and ramps and whatever necessary in our legislature. Why are they not uh, doing this here for you? Can they... You know, there's something really wrong with our society if we cannot provide for someone. Yeah. And uh, I know that you're on, I believe, the ODSP as well. Now, I understand with the ODSP that just recently uh, the liberals um, in the uh, provincial government here helped push through a bill because it was their idea to up uh, the uh, amount of money that you can make on ODSP. So I know when I was on ODSP, it was 200 and then went up to 300 yeah. And now I understand it's up to $1,000 yeah. that you can make. Now, I know there's a bit of a problem with the ODSP because people like you are a bit scared because you are in subsidies, and if you make too much, whatever, you can lose your subsidy as well. Are you worried about that? Yes. That, that should be taken care of because people like you should be have a little special package done up for you people in particular. Like, for instance, I need my birth certificate, and I don't have the money for the birth certificate. If I could work, that would be no problem. Oh, I know. And I know you love to work and love to work with other people. Mm -hmm. I, could, I know you're a people person. I could see that when you really enjoy going out with our community event yeah. that we went to. You know, and I'm, every time there's a community event, I'm going to try and make sure that uh, I do get a hold of you and we can go to a community event. You know, or something that might, uh, you know, where I'm going, then I might be able to take you with me as well, which is wheelchair accessible in that as well. So 
always have to make sure that that's uh, in place too. Yeah. But at least, you know, I mean, we've gone through our society. We've done, done so many wonderful things. I mean, we've put curbs down. So, we're, you know, with the cement now, it's more automatic that, you know, you can get down, up a curb on every every corner now. You know, we've got automatic doors for people, you know, and we've um, done so many wonderful things. It's like we're going forward, and at the same time, I feel like we're going back at the same yeah. time. No, for sure. It's definitely... I feel like we make two steps forward and five steps backwards. Well, that's sort of the way that my grandfather kind of said it. Well, it's like climbing a ladder. You go 10 steps up and you slide back 14 sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You know, and you have to start all over again. There's always a hiccup. <laughs> uh, well, I'd say uh, this is a really big hiccup that we need to take a look at. Because someone like you, who has the intelligence, just because you, I believe you have cellular policy, you were saying? Mm -hmm. You were born with it? Yes. Yeah, well, someone like you, I mean, like my brother with spina bifida, you know, and uh, he had the same thing, you know, but he had the brains too, just like you, but he was trapped in his body. Yeah. And that's not right. If no. with, with all the devices and all our uh, uh, construction and what we can do with our, um, uh, all our, uh, oh my goodness, what do you call it now? We've got so much that we can do to, to help people like you. I mean, we're inventing things constantly. You know, there's no reason why we cannot do something. You know, no. And I mean, even with a support group, I mean, it'd be wonderful. You guys could even talk about what else is necessary for the handicapped, and maybe start putting some bugs in the politicians' ears. What we might be able to do in the future to help more people. Yeah, for sure. So I'm glad that you took a little time out with me today. I just wanted to talk about that because I thought it was so wonderful. You have a certificate, you know, in, in social work. But with all the inventions and things we're doing today, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to be out there and have yeah. a good job and work. So we'll talk to you soon again and bye bye and Thanks take care. For